Hi everyone, it's Lisa here. Welcome back to Crochet with Lisa. Today I'm going to show you how I crocheted this really cute bandana for a dog. This one here is crocheted with two different colors yarn and it has a heart design in the middle. The yarn that I'm going to use is a medium weight of four yarn and I'm using the Burnett Super Value yarn today in the red and the white. Here is the grid or the pattern that I am going to follow today. So if you want to take a screenshot of this, this hair would be a great time to do that. The bandana that I am going to crochet is going to be 50 stitches wide and that will fit a neck that is about 14 and a half inches. I would suggest taking your dog's collar and just measuring it from end to end to see how many inches or centimeters that it is. And then you can make a chain that measures the same centimeters or inches that you need. My chain of 50 is the correct inches that I need, which is about 14 and a half. If you need one that is longer, then you would just add some stitches to the outside of this pattern. So you could have 60 chains if you want. Uh, just adjust as you come through here. If you want to make a bandana that is smaller, you may have to adjust the size of the heart. I would suggest taking one row of the red off of the outside here, and that might help the heart to fit into a smaller bandana size. Okay, we're going to start with our first color, and that is red. I'm also using a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. Another trick too, if you wanted to make your bandana smaller, is just to use a smaller hook size. Okay, let's begin with our chain. So I'm going to start with a slip knot. I'm going to chain 50, then plus one. So that last chain will be for turning. So I'll continue, I'll chain 50 and then I'll meet you back here. So I have my 51 chains, so that's 50 plus one more for turning. So I'm going to go to the, my second chain from the hook and I'm going to do a single crochet. And single crochet all the way across. That should give me 50 single crochets. So I'll meet you back at the end of this row. I've just made it to the end of this row. So we've done the first row here. We're going to work on our second row. And then in our third row, we're going to leave a space for a buttonhole. So we have to do our second row, and that's as simple as chaining one, turning our work. We're going to single crochet in each single crochet all the way across. And then I'll meet you again at the end of this row, and then we'll be ready to put the buttonhole into the next row. Again, you should have the same number of stitches as you did in the first row. For me, that would be 50. I'm just approaching the end of this row, and I just want to show you You can see here I have two V's left. I, that means two stitches. It's very easy to miss this last stitch. If you miss it, then your project will start narrowing in on the side. So you don't want that to happen. So make sure you get that very last stitch. Okay, chain one and turn. Now we're ready to put in this buttonhole. So we're still going to do a single crochet in our very first space. Chain one. Then we're going to skip our next single crochet and single crochet in the next one. So in this chain one space right here, 
that's where our buttonhole will be. So we're going to continue single crocheting in each single crochet all the way across. So we've just made our buttonhole. We are going to finish this row and then I'm going to meet you back here, right here where we made this buttonhole. Okay, so crochet all the way down, all the way down, and then come all the way back and just stop right before this space. And then I'm going to show you how we're going to finish this side. I am back and I am approaching this chain one space. So if we look at the pattern over here, I've done the first two rows. The third row is where I put that chain one space. I've gone all the way to the end. I've come all the way back on the fourth row. So I'm just coming to here. So this is my chain one space and I still have two single crochets before it. So I'll single crochet in this one, and next one. Then in that chain one space, we're just gonna do a single crochet in that space. Then there should be one single crochet left. So that's the end of our fourth row. We need one more row of red, chain one, turn. So we're just going to do a single crochet in each stitch all the way to the end. When we get to the end of the row, I'm going to show you how I change to the next color and how I will take care of the ends. All right, I am almost finished my fifth row. But before I show you that, I want to go to my next color, the white. On the graph here, we've got all this white up here, then we're going to come with white over to here, then we have to change to red, and then we're back to white again, red, and then we change to white. Now, I'm not going to carry those colors under, I'm just going to switch to a new ball each time. So I need to have a little bit of white ready for this part. So I'm just going to wind up a little bit of white. I don't need too much for the middle part. And for either side, I'm just going to need a little bit more. So I'm going to wind up a little bit more of my white. So I have some of my white wound into a ball. I can't really tell you how much is there. Um, but I've just eyeballed what I thought might be enough to fill in down along this side. We'll talk about that later. So I'll put that to the side. So here is my main white and my red. So I'm finishing up with the red. I'm going to start my single crochet, but I will finish with the white. And then I'm going to snip my red. Just put a knot here in the white and the red. So chain one with the white, turn. Now that white and red, I'm just going to carry that along with me. For probably about a dozen stitches. So again, just going to do a single crochet. Keeping my tail ends in there. So we can see that those tails are being carried along here. Be less ends to put in afterwards. If we look back at our graph also we can see these are our five rows of red and then I do two rows of white before I start my decrease.
Okay, so just keep those tails with you, maybe 10 or 11 stitches, and then you can just let them drop to the back and continue on. So do two rows of white, and then I will meet you back here. I have finished the end of my second white row, and I just want to show you with these ends. I did carry my white one a couple more stitches than the red. Now you can just snip them there if you want, or if you want them a little more secure. Put them on a yarn needle. And just bring them back the way that you came. There you go, those ends are in. Now if we look back at our grid, we've done a five rows of red, two rows of white. Now we're ready to start decreasing. So we're decreasing each row, on each side of each row. So to decrease, we're going to chain one turn. Instead of single crocheting into this very first stitch, we're just going to skip over it and go into the second one. There we've done our first decrease. Single crochet all the way to the end of the row and then I will show you at the end of the row what we're going to do over there to decrease. Here I am almost at the end of the row. I have one, two, three, four stitches left. So I had to decrease one. So I'm going to single crochet until I have two stitches left. Then I'm going to skip this one and I'm going to single crochet into my last one. So that was our end of the row decrease. Every row we're going to do the same thing from this point on because we're decreasing in each row, the beginning and the end of the row. At the beginning of the row we are going to single crochet into the second single crochet and at the end of the row we're just skipping the second last single crochet. So we have done one, two, three rows. Now before we start our red, we have to do one, two, three, four, five. So we've done our first decrease row. We need to do two more rows of decreasing, and then we are going to start with the red. So I want you to work on those rows by yourself. In my pattern here, I have 50 stitches. This last row, we went down to 48, be 46, 44, 42. 40, 38, etc., all the way down. So I want you to work on the next two rows of decreasing, then I'll meet you back here when we're ready for this row. Okay, I'm back and I have finished my five rows of white. So one, two, three, four, five. Now we're ready to start crocheting in the red part for the heart. I'm just going to lay this paper here so we can see. This is the row that we're on. So we should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 whites, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 reds, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 whites. Okay, so again, we're going to need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 whites. And remember, we still have to decrease a stitch at the side. So 
So we'll chain one, turn. And we're gonna skip that first one. We'll do our single crochets. I've just completed my 12th stitch, so I'm going to get my red ready. So for 13, I will start it with the white, but I'm going to finish that with the red. Okay, and make sure you just keep your white yarn nice and snug behind there. So we're going to go back here. We're actually working this way, same stitches, so 13 white, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 red. So for the first red one, in order to kind of lock in this tail, I'm going to start that first one with the tail. So you can see I started with the tail, then I'll finish with the working end. So that's one. Two, three, four. Okay, and I'm just going to make sure these are nice and snug back there. Now I'm going to take the white, that small amount of white that I have, get that ready. So for my next one, I'm going to start. This is my last red single crochet. So I'm starting with red, but I'm going to finish it with the white. So the white we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So for that first white one, I'm just going to start it with the tail end, finish it with the other end. Just make sure everything is nice and pulled nice and tight back there. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, and I'll start with my white for the last one and finish with the next color, which is the red. So one, two, three, four, five reds. So I'm going to start that next stitch with the tail end. Just drop that to the back and finish it with the working end. So that's one, two, one, two, three, four, and the fifth one I'll start with the red, but finish that with the white. So I'll need my other white. And again, just to lock in that tail, I'm going to start my next single crochet with the tail. I'll only do that on this row here where I'm, where I'm adding new colors. We will finish it with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 white. So that was 1. I'm at 12 and we are decreasing, so I have two single crochets left. I'm going to skip one and single crochet in that last one. Makes 13, chain one and turn. So for our next row, we are going to increase a red on either side. So for our white, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven white. Let's do those first. So 
So I've done 10 of my single crochets and I'm ready for my 11th. You can see there are two stitches left right here. One, two. And we are moving out one, so that's why I have two stitches left. So we'll start this one with the white. Drop the white to the back. So grab your red. And you're going to finish with the red. Now because you're bringing that over a little bit, make sure you don't have this too tight. So next we need to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven red. So our next stitch here we can see is white. So we're going to go under this red and under our stitch. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Before I continue, let's go back and look. We can see that because we went under this piece of yarn, we have a nice, neat transition right here between the white and the red. Over here it's going to be a little bit different because this side we are going an extra red over. So again we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. So now I'm going to make my sixth stitch. So to make the transition between the red and the white, when we're moving our red one stitch over, it's going to be a little bit different than this side. So we're going to start by going back into that same space that we were just in, just like we're doing two single crochets in the same space. Pull up a loop. Now we're going to go to the white and see these two loops here, so the top one and this one. We're going to go under that one. Go all the way through, pull up a loop, come back. So now we've got three. So we're going to take this first loop here and we're going to go under this second one. Okay, so now we're going to change to our next color. So just drop the red to the back and finish it with the white. And that will give us a nice transition between the red and the white. Okay, so now we need one, two, three, four whites. So that's one, two, three, and remember now we're changing again with our fourth one. So we'll start with the white, drop that to the back, so we're going to bring the red over and finish this stitch. Make sure you don't have this piece here pulled too tight. Then we're going to go under that red and into the next stitch. And there we go. So just like on this side, over here we're going to need seven red. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. This one is always a little tighter. It's because we put that red end in. 
I go. So that's six. So now our seventh one is going to be the same as over here. So we're going to go into that same stitch where we just went, pull back a loop, then we're going to look at our white right here. We're going to go under this one, so all the way through under this one. Pull back a loop. So we have three there, so we're going to take this first loop and pull it under the second one. And then finish our single crochet with the new color, the white. Okay, so now we have our seven, and so we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so now we have finished this second row here. So we only have one more row where we have the white in the middle. Then after that, we're just working with white, red, and white. So after this row, we're actually going to get rid of two of our balls. Okay, so over here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine white. So chain one, turn, and as always, we're decreasing at the end of each row. So I've done eight. This is my ninth one. So again, we'll start with the white. Drop that to the back. This is a little tangly here, but that's okay, because after this row, can get rid of some of that. So we'll pull through with the red, make sure it's not too tight here. Then we're gonna go under the red, and under our next stitch. So that's one red. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's one, two, eight. And we have another one of these transitions. Let me finish that one. So for nine, we're gonna go back into the same stitch we just came out of, pull back a loop. Then we're gonna go under, look at these two white loops here. We're gonna go under this one, the second one. Oops, go all the way through. Pull back a loop. We have three there, so we're just going to Take the first loop and pull it under the second loop. Drop that color to the back. Finish with our next color. So here we have two white. So one, two. So we're not finishing that one. We're just gonna drop our white to the back. Take our red. Finish that with the red, not too tight. And we have again one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine red. So we're going to go under this, under our white stitch. So that's one. Two, eight, and for this ninth one, we're going to do that same thing. We're going to go into the last stitch, pull back a loop. We're going to go under our two white loops of our next stitch right here. So we're going to go straight through, pull back a loop. We're going to pull this first one under the second one and finish it with the white. So we still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
we'll do those nine and then we'll take care of these extra ends. One, and that's nine. Okay, so our red one. I can snip that one. So I've snipped the red one and the white one, and now I will just make sure these are not tangled. Okay, so I have now just three pieces of working yarn, and we're going to look at our next row. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight white stitches. And then we can see that now our red is going to be directly under the red. So our transition is going to be one color right on top of the other one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have my seven done. And my eighth one is right there. So I have white above white, and then we're changing to red. So everything is looking good here. So we'll start with beginning that single crochet with our white. Drop that to the back. We'll finish it with the red. Make sure the white is nice and secure. Then we're going to go under that red and go under our red stitch. Okay, that'll keep that piece of yarn out of the way and then we'll finish that. So we are going to do, let's count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So twenty reds. I'll meet you at number 19. I have 19 of my red ones done. I'm ready for the 20th. So I'm just going to go into that last red stitch. I'm going to begin it with the red. Drop the red to the back. Pick up my white. Finish that with the white. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight white stitches. So before you make that, just go under your piece of yarn, your white yarn, and then go under the stitch. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Skipping one for the last one, eight. So chain one and turn. So we've completed up to this row here. I've shown you how to do your changes of colors when you're going this way and then coming back this way. I've also shown you how to do the transition of colors when you have one color on top of the other one. So just continue along. You have to follow this pattern. So you have two more rows, exactly like the row that we've just done. And then you are going to start decreasing the bottom part of the heart over here. And continue until you're all the way down here. And then I'm gonna meet you back when your bandana is completed to here. All right, I'm just at the end of the bandana. I'm down to my two last stitches. So I'm going to chain one, turn, and then just do one single crochet in that second single crochet. And I'll just do a chain one, 
snip my yarn, pull it through. So the next step is to weave in all of our ends. So I'll go ahead and do that and then I'll meet you back here when all of my ends are woven in. All of my ends are in except for my starting tail in the red and my ending tail in the white because I'm just going to incorporate those into the border. Okay, so I'm going to get my crochet hook, my red yarn. So I'm going to go to this corner over here, insert my hook, pull back a loop. Well, I'm just going to pull it through because I'm going to tie it. That way I know it's secure. So I'm going to go through, pull back a loop, chain one, single crochet in that same space. I'm going to take that tail with me and I'm just going to do a single crochet, evenly spacing these single crochets along the edge. So here I have my first few done. I'm just going to let my tail drop to the back. I'm going to continue along this side, evenly spacing these single crochets, and I'll meet down here at the point. I'm almost at the point. You can see I have my single crochets all the way along. I'm just going to do a couple more till I get right to that point. And right in there, we're going to do three single crochets in the same space. That'll help turn that corner there. As we come up along this side, we'll bring our white tail with us. For about 10 single crochets or so. So just continue single crocheting all the way up. Then I'll meet you up here at this corner. So I'm just approaching this corner. So just have a couple more single crochets. This last one will go into the corner. So then I'm going to chain one, turn. And we're going to do a second row of red around the outside. So we'll take this tail that we had down there, we'll bring it up, and we're going to carry that along. So now we're just going to chain one. I mean, we're going to do a single crochet in each single crochet all the way around. We get to this bottom corner. So in this middle single crochet of these three, we'll do three in that one as well. Continue along, and then I'll just meet you back here where we started our first row of single crochets. I'm approaching the end of this row. I've just got two last single crochets to go. I'll finish those two. And to end it all, I'm just going to chain one, cut my yarn, and just pull that out. Now these pieces of yarn that I carried along, I'm just going to weave them back in the way that it came. Make sure it's tight. So weave it back this way. I'll snip that. I'll weave in this end. I'll weave these back the way that I came and then I'll meet you back here. All right, so I have all of my ends are sewn in. And now the last thing to do is to sew on a button. So the buttons I have are three and a quarter inch buttons. So as long as your button can go through the buttonhole, so over here is the buttonhole. Just give it a test to make sure that 
your button can go through. And then that should be good. You may want to look at your bandana and decide which side looks like the front and which one looks like the back. Once you've decided, so let's say if this is going to be the front of mine, I'm going to turn it to the back and I will bring my ends together. Here is my buttonhole is right there, so that means I'm going to sew my button over here. Now this might be a good time for you to try it on your dog to make sure that this is a good fit and you can adjust where you put your button. If you need it, the bandana to be a little bit smaller, you can move it over a little bit. Also, before you start sewing, make sure you have a turning needle or sewing needle, yarn needle, that will go through that hole. So I'm gonna go up and then down. Just cut my yarn and I'm just going to tie a knot. Here we go, it is buttoned up. So the bandana is finished. I hope you enjoyed following along in this tutorial with me today. You found it easy to follow. Please like my video and subscribe to my channel and you can follow along with some other great projects. Have a great day and happy crocheting!